So in this tutorial, we're going to make or implement the Google sign-in. So for that, we need a new package. So let's go to pub.dev and search for Google sign-in. Go to this package or website and go as usual to installing and copy this. And as usual, go back to pubspec.html file and paste that in here. Now save your file or in the terminal as usual run flutter packages get just like this now let's go back to the landing page but first i will copy a few codes from the login because we will use them we are going to use this two lines of code the first one to allow the user to sign in and the second one the we are going to use this global method class to handle the errors so let's go back to the landing page and in here let's paste them we need to import them but my IDE already imported them now in here let's initialize a new method it's for sure a future which is void and I will name it Google sign in so first thing we need to do is to initialize the Google sign in so let's say and here Google sign in equal to Google sign in like this and now we need to initialize the Google account for that let's say Google account it will be equal to Google sign in dot sign in like this now actually this sign in method is a future so we need to add await keyword in here and we need to add async keyword in here now actually we will use this google account for many things and you'll see why so first of all we need to check if this google account is not null so let's add an if statement in here and say google account is different than null if this is the case we need to do something now we need to get the credentials and unsurprisingly we get the credentials from the Google account so let's say in here final Google auth equal to Google account dot authentication like this now this is also a future so we need to add await keyword in here now we're going to use this google auth to allow the user to log in now actually this google auth contain a few arguments that we're going to use them to allow the user to log in so let's see how so inside of this f statement let's check if the attributes or the contents of this google auth is not empty so in here let's add an if statement and let's see what can we access from it so the first thing as you can see is the access token and the id token and this is actually the credentials of the user to allow him to log in so we need to make sure that the access token and the id token is not null to use them to allow the user to log in so in here we need to check that it's not null and we need to check the id token also it's not null great so now we can allow the user to sign in so now we need to use this firebase auth to allow him to sign in so in here let's say auth dot sign in with credentials and as I said before the credentials are this access token and this ID token so in it let's say Google provider actually and we need to access the credentials and in here it has two attributes or two named attributes which is the access token and the ID token let's access the ID token and copy it from here and 
let's fill the access token and also paste it in here add a semicolon in here and now we can try but let's first initialize it or initialize this inside of a variable so let's say in here auth results equal to this and for sure this is a future method great so now let's restart our application and give it a try so let's go back to the debug console to see if any error will occur so press on this icon yeah and nothing will happen because we didn't add it yet to the method or to the button so in here I'm searching for Google here it is and let's paste the name of the method in here let's restart it again okay so now let's give it a try so I got an error great let's see this error so if you read this error it says in here the given sign in provider is disabled for this Firebase project so just like we did in the sign up tutorial we need to activate the Google sign in from the authentication tab and the Firebase project so let's go back to the browser and in the authentication tab of our Firebase project so in this tab let's go to the sign in method and in here we need to activate this Google sign in so let's hit enable in here press save wait till it's done and let's restart our application and give it a try again so here it is it worked very well so let's try the sign out so here it is now the user is allowed to log in with Google and with his email and password in the next video we will add also error handling just like we did for the sign up using email and password so stay tuned